Honestly, it's a good question, but uh, right now b- basketball is the last thing I want to talk about. You know, seeing what's happening in Ukraine, it's like, you know, when I get off the court, while I'm on the court, I forget about it. I just think about basketball, just being out there and playing. But once I'm off the court, I feel like my whole attention is just that way, what's happening there. And uh, it just hits way too close to home since my country has been in that position before. And yeah, it's like honestly, losing a basketball game right now, if that's the worst thing to happen to us in the last couple of weeks, uh, we're really lucky. And, and I really hope that the Ukrainians stay strong because honestly, they're the front line basically for us, the Baltic states and, uh, and rest of the Europe. So I really hope it works out. I hope that the rest of the world can help them as much as possible. And uh, we come out of this and Ukraine is still still a free country. And, uh, and I hope the, the useless bloodshed ends really soon and, uh, and the Russian occupants return to their country. What would you say to the people? In, sorry, what would you say to the people in Ukraine right now? If you could speak to any of them? Uh, I feel like from everything that's seen and uh, hearing the stories from people that I know, it's they're a really proud, patriotic country. And uh, as much as I know, there's families that stayed. They've stayed in uh, in Ukraine and Kiev, and all the men are fighting. Some of the women with children have left the country and. Uh, I hope the other European countries and us, we can help them as much as possible in, in, this, in this situation. And uh, the message is stay strong. You know, I've, I've heard they're doing uh, a great job fighting a country that's, you know, way bigger, way stronger than them. And, and I feel like that they, most of the military people in Russia have no idea what they're fighting for. And uh, I feel like that, that strength that the Ukrainians have and the, the will to persevere and fight for their country is, is going to overcome, I really hope. I don't really have friends or family in Ukraine knowing that Latvia is so close or you have friends and family at home that are... Uh, you know, at the moment, not that I know of. You know, that's, that's very likely that somebody I know, you know, uh, I'm fortunate enough that nobody close enough uh, to me is there right now that... Uh, that I would think about that, but I'm sure since that country is not that far away, there might be somebody I know, and uh, you know, I hope they're staying safe. Uh, uh, yes, my parents are, and my well, my brother is playing a game in uh, in Belgium with the national team, but but I think they're returning home tomorrow. So you know, we're we're really closely monitoring and see what to do for our family, whether they need to get out or or not. Thank you. Thank you.